guys welcome back to my channel today we are going to do another project and this is a tradition so i had to do it i'm a little bit late i'm sorry but i'm not sorry <laughs> i'm just late with everything and every project but i really want to do it because i always do it and i have done it since the fantastic lady started this is the drop tin before summer and this is created by jessica and amanda and jana i think but yes we are going to choose 10 makeup or beauty items and um, that can be related to summer or just you just want to use up before summer basically and some of us are doing 10 pounds as well but i'm not i'm i'm just not committed but i'm doing my best to stay stay healthy but i don't really do pounds and stuff like that but i have my 10 items here and i'm pretty excited to be working on them and share it with you guys and my goals and everything i have some Makeup items and I have some beauty skincare type of items. I think I, I did good this round. <laughs> and I actually think some of them are doable to be finished. Which not always happens for me. <laughs> the first item that I have is my Nux. 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 Multi-purpose dry oil face, body and hair. I only use it on my body. This is how it is looking like. It is a clear ball. I'm sorry. But yes, it is a dry oil, so it dries quite fast and that is really nice because I don't really like oils. But this one I really like, but it is going by so fast. I have used it for like a month and a half now. So by the second update or so, this will be done. So that is pretty exciting, I think. Um, so this should be doable to be finished. I have no idea where this are. This is the Body Shop that carrot cream nature rich daily moisture and uh, 50 milliliters in this i have used it for like a month on and off um and i mostly use it in the morning time but the carrot scent is kind of throwing me off <laughs> a little bit it smells a lot like carrots and it is orange kind of but i really want to use it up and it is my day cream so that is what i use i don't think there's spf in this I don't know but this is going in and I think it is doable to use it up by the finale at least I want to so that is my goal I need I I'm going to see if I can try to measure it so you can see progress next time then we have some sheet masks and I don't do sheet masks but and I don't buy them but I got them in my advent calendar and I don't want them to just sit so I'm going to put them both in as one item because it's only one use, so I thought, why not? The first one is the Body Shop Aloe Calm Sheet Mask. This one right here. And the other one is the Youth Concentrate Sheet Mask. And I really like the serum in this line, so I think this is going to be amazing. The last beauty item I have is my small, small, small nail oil from CND. It is the Solar Oil. Nail and cuticle care at that line right there. Can you see it? Kind of. I hope so. This is a small, small, small bottle, but they last a long time. And I have gone out of habit using this daily, multiple times daily, and I really need to need to go into the habit again. So I'm putting it in, and I think it's doable to use this small size up. It need to be up. the item that is not makeup, but not beauty skincare item is my nail polish it is a w7 one i have no idea what it is called but it is a small size and it is red so i thought that was going to be nice for the spring toes and nails you know when they're not hiding in closed shoes so i thought this was going to be nice because it's not really wintry because it's not glittery or hot pink or anything so i thought that was in good in between then we have four makeup products um i don't know if i can finish them <laughs> i'm going to try though this one i think i can finish but it is quite dark for me so i'm going to have very dark brows apparently it is the stroke of genius in dark brown it is a microblade um brow pencil but this is what that is in it and last time i tried to pan one of these it went so fast it like took like one or two months to finish so i think that is doable and um, then we have the trended up metallica gel eyeliner in 50 
So this metallic one, I had it in a roulette pan collab last year, I think it was. And I had a gold use, but now I really want to make some decent progress on this. So that is all I have left and I don't know how I'm going to do, but I think this is a nice color for the ones, the shadows that I'm panning right now. And with the gold eyeliner, I am going to put a gold cream shadow in and this is the NYX Lingerie Eye Tint in gold standard. And you can see some windows, so I used it quite a bit when I went to Japan because this was one of the only ones that I brought with me in like 2018. And I did use it a lot when I panned the Too Faced Chocolate Bar as my panda palette, so I thought this was going to be nice with the neutrals I'm panning this year as well. So let's see how I do with this one. And I do work on another cream shadow, but it's kind of dry and on its last leg. So I thought this was going to be perfect to work on. The last item that I have in this one, it is my NYX Butter Gloss in like a pink color. This was going to be perfect for today though. Maybe I should have put this on. This is in the peaches and cream shade, so I thought that was perfect for summer. And yeah, I do really like this gloss. Um, but it's very pink, so I can share it out on my lips and be good to go. You can't see any progress or anything with this one. Are these see-through or not? I, don't, I think they are, but... I haven't used it enough to see any progress, so I really want to use it enough to see progress, at least. So, I don't know if you can see the theme or why my items could be like summery items, kind of a dry oil because it's not oily and you sweat a lot. <laughs> and the care cream because it's vegetables and you eat a lot more of those in the summertime. And then just gold and a brow and a pink gloss. Yeah, I hope you see the point of me and a sheet mask just because you want to be hydrated in the summertime. So, the last item I have is my W7 Enchanted palette and I'm not going to pan it. I'm not insane, okay? <laughs> but I do have some pan on this already because I had it in my whole collection project last year. I brought this with me to London or England in the summertime last year and that is where John proposed to me. So this is very sentimental for me and it reminds me of summer because I brought it with me at that point and I was proposed to in the summertime. Um, and I wore this palette because this, these were the only eyeshadows that I brought with me that holiday. So this is very sentimental for me. So I want to use it more, okay? I want to use it more because it is a really, really nice palette. I have pan on Mystical already, um, so maybe I can hit one more pan in any of the shades. I have no idea which one um, because I don't really have that big of a dip in some of them, but I have used them each a lot. So maybe I'm going to use, do the gold like in the Roulette Pan Collab with the Luna Beauty palette use each shade once or maybe just hit pan on one. I will see if after the first month how I want to do it and what shade I want to choose. Maybe I should use a purple or a duochrome one. I think that was good. I think that would be the easiest but let's see how I do and I really want to work on this for this project. It is perfect basically. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you guys are excited for me to do this again. If you're doing it and I al don't already watch you or follow you, please let me know down in the comments and check out Jessica, Amanda and Jana if you haven't already. They are linked down below as always. And the fantastic ladies of course because this is a collab with them. So I hope you guys enjoyed and until my next one, please take care. Please. <laughs> Bye.